Hello, and today we'll be continuing working on Mr. Star, where today we will be just animating him, doing a funny walk. So, let's continue where we left off on our previous video. Let's go over to animation, and as always, clone this default animation it has there, and let's name our first one. We're just going to do a walk, nothing else, nothing special, just a walk. And we're going to 30 frames a second, and I, I already had prepared 30. So, we're going to do a one walk cycle at 30 frames a second for this character, and we're going to have both strides, you know, left foot, right foot. So, we need to make sure we have, we start off with either the the stride position, you know, when one leg's, in front, you know, the, the most apart they are, or the crossover. We start off with the stride, let's do the stride. So, we know that when we walk, you have one leg goes in front, one in back, and our weight goes a bit down. So, I'll select the hip bone, um, turn off the selectability for the art assets, i move that a little down. Ooh, things are starting to happen. Look at that. The moment we did that, things are happening. There we go, I'm going to do that keyframe there. And I'm also going to keyframe, yeah, let's give him a funny pose. We're going to go full silly comedy with this one. And we need one leg back, we don't know which it is. Which one it is and suddenly it's this one not you fella you yeah you can go there you keyframe and you keyframe i'm roughly keyframing to start you know bringing apart all the elements i need and what about you you're stepping right there keyframe and let's bring the foot in there keyframe also which leg is it in front? What have I got selected? So the since the back foot is in front, then we'll have the front arm like that. Yeah, look at him. Look at that stride. And the other arm goes the way back. I don't think I'll be animating the hands at all. Let's leave him there. If I'm not, I'll get these little fellas out of the way and make them... Let me save this. Can I do it here? Can I change the size of these? No, but can I do it in the armature? Let's see. Yeah, let me just put 50 there in case I need to do something. No, not 50. Zero. It looks like I won't be animating anything of these two fellas. Okay, let's go back to animation. Yeah, they're out of the way. Why haven't you changed size? Did I not press enter? Yeah, let's say. Here we go, back to walk. So we have posed already our first, let's call it stride. It's gonna be silly. I'm not gonna go for beauty here. I'm just gonna go technical how it works. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take all these, these keyframes, everything here, and say copy, and get all the way to 30, and say paste. All right, you can see we're, we're doing the same thing again using loops as we did in previous stuff. So what I need to do now is create the other pose, the other way around. What happens at 15 when it's the opposite? We're just going to try to mirror this, but the other way around. So I'm going to try to, I'm going to get these two fellas, get out of the way. I'm going to get these two, bring it here quickly. So let's say you were there, keyframe you, and I'll, so I'll fix you up like this. Let's see what we have. And you're there. Good. And now you, I know it looks ugly. You can go here maybe, and you can go here. Now, if I don't like it, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna see what this compares to with this. So I had those there. Yeah, I can go further back, because I have a reference point now. What I did with the first stride. Mm-hmm. You go there, and you go there. What does that compare with? One, two. That's pretty okay. Yeah. Good. And we'll move the, the arms all the way around on 15. You now can go there. They don't have to be, have to be exactly one top of the other because, you know, we're not exactly robots. And you can go there. So what do we have for now? It's going to be very ugly. But we have a sort of very basic. We have the two different key positions for the striding. Now, in the middle of each stride, we have the, what we call the crossover. What happens here? And, I, and we still haven't worked on the positioning of the hips, which is going to give a bit of life to it. So 
what happens here is let's say which leg is the one that's down so what happens the one in front is the one that says is um steady going to be stuck down so the one in the back is supposed to lift up and try to move forward so at, at the middle at seven or eight it's the back let me select these now so i'm ready these are going to lift up somewhere around here and i'm just going to keyframe in there just for now because i need to start moving things out of the way before sort of correcting them and you can be there now this foot shouldn't be like this because it's it's in the middle and it should be like nice and steady down so you can be there and you can be there we'll fix this it, things will happen come on come on little foot you know it could happen now if you see some funny deformation here that has to do because of my sloppy waiting another thing I have to fix is of course the hip remember we on the stride the body and is sort of lower and in the middle it goes up so this is where the hip and this bone up there so i'm going to start with the hip i'm going to move the hip come on hip where are you there you are hip bone i'm going to move you up a bit Ooh, look at those look at that sexy move i'm going to move you there and i'm going to select this fella and move him of course up there that's it, nice and proud. Whew. Now, one thing I didn't do properly is I had to set, copy the keyframes for this one and this one, of course, both these, because they're at the lowest position. I have to select both of these keyframes and also copy them to 15, which is another low again. Right, so what have I done now? Well, you can see the first one almost getting there slowly getting the basics for walk animation we're not doing an, a work of art on this video we're just showing like the very basic steps and poses to a walk now we've got a bit of a mess down here let's go and fix it okay, you can go there and so the leg goes up it doesn't get straight it should sort of shoot out up front and then step down so it's like it has to feel like there's weight stepping so somewhere around here it should be this leg should be like Come on, I want you to, come on, back to you. I want both of you. I want you to go up there like, oh, I'm ready to step. Look at me, look at Mr. Star, how ooh, he's getting prepared. That foot is like ready to stomp. Let's see. See the weight? Now, there's one step. It's, how does it feel? So it goes up. And now we have to do the equivalent to the other side where, which leg went to the back? It was this one. So that also has to go somewhere around here. It's lifting up, it's getting ready to do its to come forward. No, it's lifted off the ground. I gave you a keyframe. Yes. And you're maybe there. We're never gonna fix it. So already. Yep, yeah, it does that. That's pretty nice. That's pretty lame. A little more, a bit more character. Yeah, maybe a little foot down there. That'll be nice. Let's also copy let's not forget the hip bone and the control up here of the body those two at this position i'm going to select both of them copy and which frame was it at? was it 23 i think 23 paste them there what do we have so far come on walk and i need to give a bit more weight to our forward foot now somewhere here it's like getting ready to stomp I'm getting ready to stomp because I've moved forward and I'm going to be in front now. Yeah, look, I'm preparing to step down. There we go. So let's see what this looks like. I know it's not beautiful. Let me turn off the bones also. Yeah. You know what? I want to give a bit more of a oomph bounce to the body up and down. Since it's, it is silly. Yes, it's very silly, Adam. It's very silly. I'm going to move these even so it's, yeah, in this position, we're going silly, copy them both there. So I'm going to select both of them, copy, paste, yeah, that's, paste. What do you look like now? Let's see. Look at me walk. I think I'm going to need much, a much better swing on the arms. So let's look at these arms.
I really don't like the position at the back. I think it should be like somewhere like that down there, hanging there. Where this guy should be hanging down there, like that. And I'll, because this is the, on the loop, I have to bring it back here, paste. Let's go. Ooh. Okay. And what about maybe the body a bit more of a, on the low part, so it's up. Maybe even goes like, yeah. I got a bit of a thing going on here. Yeah, copy. Copy this and paste it on all, all low positions. Paste, paste. We're nearly there. Yeah. That will do for now. Let's go work on the head now. So, what do we have? We know the head. This is low, high, low. Let's start with the basic. We're going to move the bone up and down and then work on the squash and stretch. So, I like it there. On the low, there, there, on the three lows. And on the high, which is, maybe it moves up right there. And I'm going to copy this. Copy, 23, quickly. Paste. What do we have so far? Good. Now we need to give a, work a bit on the timing. On uh, So, up, down. So, what could happen here? Maybe... Let's look at the scale. Maybe when it comes to scaling, it's whoop, scaled like that and like that. Scale. Copy. I have no idea, but I, you know, you you feel like you're doing something, just go for it. But up high on the, here on the top, no. Oink. It's done the opposite. Let's see how silly this looks now. Okay, I need to offset it a bit. I, maybe I have to work with the F curve, with the curve editor, when it comes to the movement and scaling. So it has to go up slowly, come down fast, and stay there a bit. Oh, the stay there a bit. I might need to do two, three frames here. It's stuck. I get it. Yeah, I can work with that. It's easy, I just gotta copy this on one, and on 14, 16, and on 12, and on 29. But it goes up slowly, so let's work with the movement first, the translation. It has to leave. Is that was that the fu Ah, oh, I can't remember which one is to slow out. So it goes up slow and it's to come down fast. So it goes up slow, that has to be it. Now it goes up fast and slows down, and then it leaves the other way around. I always get these mistake, uh, confused. Right, but I need it to stay down a little more. So I need all these frames here, copy. I'm gonna be so mad. And paste frames. Right, so what I need is that there and there. Paste frames. Paste frames. I need it to leave slowly. Come on, what am I getting wrong? Is it the other one? No, it can't be. Yeah, okay, it just needs to be quite an overshoot to make it feel right. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to look at the scaling now. Let's see if we need to work on that scaling. That's, a, that's okay. I can leave it that. Let's go on and work with the... Say this. Hey, Mr. Star, look at you. Now, let's go and work with that star. As I said, it's going to be rotating uh, around the character. So, what we're going to do, I'm going to move this star. First, we're going to work on the movement. I want you... Come on, star. 
I want you to be here on frame 0 and on frame 30. We're always working in loops of um, 30 for now. And on 15, I want you to be here and maybe a bit further up, like that. So what do we have now? Why is that there? Copy. Paste. What do we have? So we have this. Now we're going to give it scaling, and then we're going to animate it when it's going to be in front and back of the character. So um, let's say when it goes up, it's behind the character. When it comes down, it's in front. So when it's there, it goes back. It has to scale down, then scale to normal, then scale up and scale to normal. So somewhere around, so it has normal scaling there, normal scaling there, normal scaling there. But over here, it has an overshoot let's say um, uh, come on bone good it has a it scale it, when it goes um, I said it scales down it goes behind yeah scale that but when it comes here it scales up yeah now let's see how this works right now the only thing we're not seeing is is it going behind the character so we're going to select the image now and do the following we're going to say at this point, let's go to the draw order. Star, you are there. But at this point, you go all the way to the back. Can you move, Mr. Star? And keyframe it. You stay at the back. And when you make it there at that point, you move back to the front and I keyframe the order that's all it was and let's turn off the bones and there it is we have now Mr. Star who is doing his funky walk his head's bouncing and the star's moving around maybe you say I wish you could walk a little faster well this is the fun part of um, once you have the keyframes ready you can select all keyframes like this and just say, I'm going to scale the time down to 20 and make it faster. Everything. Let's see it work. And it's faster. I'm going to do that. So I could say, maybe I have a walk. I'm going to call this walk at 30. And then I'm going to, okay, uh, walk underscore 30, which means walk underscore 30 frames per second. So you can see how you can change things. And then you can go like, okay, and I'm going to clone this. I'm going to call the new one, walk 20 frames per second. So that you got 30 and the 20. And for the 20, you just select all the keyframes and scale them down to where you want to and save them. So now we have a walk cycle, which is 30 frames per second and one which is 20. You never know. And on that 20, you might want to now go and maybe move the legs and start converting it into a run. And there you go. So. This is all we're going to do. We're going to do, do today. We have done these two. Is it two? Is it one episode? I'll see how on the editing what it comes out to. It might be one big thirty minute, or it might be two. But now we've seen how we put together. We brought in a more detailed character. So we actually did now a double jointed arms, legs, whatever. We did the the walk cycle. We did a bit of everything. So we did a character which was um like the um a biped character. We did a very basic, silly, cartoony work walking, which sort of works for this very low detailed uh, character as it walks. We put a funny uh, bounce on his head. I could have actually animated, had two, three heads swapping and had um, something funny in his head and have a star um, floating around, which you see, what's this star for? Well, imagine you're doing a character that does a magic spell and has a, like a swords around him or a, a fireball going around him, something, something like that, a whirlwind. So we saw actually even how to animate um, the draw order. Um, well, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you had fun. I'm going to link in the description the PSD file for Mr. Star, and you guys can do whatever you want to it, and actually be able, if you wanted to, replace the art assets for it and create your own Mr. Star or Mr. Moon or Mr. Sun or Mr. Fire or Mr. Druid or Mr. Warrior, whatever you want to. Thank you for being here. Hope you had fun, and see you next time. Bye-bye.